and a welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class. So we're going to start in a standing position. Inhale your arms up above the head, lengthening the spine, turn the palm up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale, turn long, exhale, down. Arm by your side, stretching out the neck, next ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Lengthening, stretch, relieve any tension that you may have. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back to center, take a breath in. And we're going to go to the other side, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Hands on your waist for support. Take an inhale to center, exhale to open up the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Slowly, slowly come back to center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Inhale, center again. Exhale, look at the right shoulder. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center, take a breath here, and then we'll look at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly come back to center, shoulder stretch, right arm up, and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, we lay the first place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. If you can bind your hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Tricep stretch. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up the other side. Shoulder stretch first, arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, we length the first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide up. Tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. And don't worry if you're not able to do this. Slowly release, shake it out, hands on the shoulders, opposite and opposite. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up the heart chest. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow close to get oiling the shoulder joints. And reverse, go the other way. Slowly, slowly release. Inhale your arms up, palm touch. Release index, swing it real tall. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Coming into a crescent moon. Inhale, center lengthening, exhale to the other side. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Now pushing the hip forward or back. Inhale, center. One more side, exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm, top arm is a crescent moon. Get a little bit deeper in your side man. Slowly, slowly come back up to length of the spine. Exhale, go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm is a crescent moon. Side body long. 
slowly, slowly come back up. Come down by your side. Shake it up. Just gonna come to a toss or turn, knee drop, touching opposite hips. Now we're gonna touch opposite shoulder. Why are we doing knee drop? Toss or turn. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Getting ready for forward bend. Hands on weights for support. Take an inhale in the center. Exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, you can slide the head down. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine. Stretching out the back. Leg and stomach rest on the thighs. Soft knees. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you're stifling this here or not well, you need to slowly come out of it. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, and one. Getting ready to come up, and some ways for support. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, just slowly, slowly. One word of at a time, rise up to standing. Once you come all the way up, we're gonna go back bend to counter. So interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting the chin up. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up that hot chest. Improving your posture. Not pushing the hip forward. Shoulders on top of hips. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Coming into a chair pose, all 10 toes facing the front legs like it would. Inhale your arms up, sit in your chair. When you see your heel, you should really see your toes with your toes. Don't squeeze the thigh together, not sticking the butt out. Every time you come down, see if you can get a little bit lower. We're going to start our bar stool height first. Shoulder issues, cactus arms. You can always adjust, adapt, modify to suit your needs. Let's do another three, two, one. Stay here, pulsing it up and down. Strong arm, strong pull. Continue to work the legs. And we're gonna do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. And down by your side. Shake it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top off your mat. Big toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Inhale, your arms up, palm touch, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat, step or hop back into your plank. Wrist underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the heels. Beginners can drop to your knees. Tuck your elbow by your side, come down. Immediately slide up to up dog or cobra. Shoulders are relaxed. Eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Mid our index when you're facing forward. Separate your feet two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Lifting the hips high up. Legs are here, walk apart. Eyes looking at your toes. Now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. 
Exhale, fold the bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into a mountain pose. Tall and strong in mountain. Continue. Inhale, your arms up. Over salute. Back bend. Exhale. Forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. Step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga's all one breath. Immediately slide up to up dog or cobra. Exhale to down dog. Lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Shoulders are external rotation, elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Feel free to slightly bend your knees if you have tight hamstrings. We're going to go into a low lunge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curving. Shoulders relax down from the knees. Eyes looking up. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle. Place the palm together, release, index finger. Inhale, coming up. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Coming into a twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly bring the body back to center. Left hand on the mat, right arm up. Reach and stretch. Look at the top of the arm. Slowly, slowly release the top hand. Both hands on the right toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the right hip bone. On this side, your modification. Those who can come down the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to come to a twisted dragon. Bending into the back leg. Left hand on the back. Right arm up. You can either wrap the top arm around your waist or reach for the back foot. Coming into a twisted dragon. Be mindful of anyone who has any wrist, elbow, shoulder, or knee issues. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Slowly, slowly release, hands on mat. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. So on this side, do modification. Those who can come up on the back toes, go ahead. Lift the heel high, high up. Now I'm going to slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat. Come sit down. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of it for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking at toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Stomach come down a little bit more. Neck is long, spine is straight. If you have very tight hamstring, slightly bend the knee. Slowly, slowly release. 
And we need to see the truth, bring the bandage on the outside of the strip leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. We're going to keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Locate the back. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back, turning the neck as well. And we will stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, hand the chest, bending the elbows, more room to come down. Stretching our lower back muscles, oblique, the side of the body. Now we're slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. And we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So take your time to rise up. Right knee on the mat, left leg forward. Left knee, 90 degree on top of the ankle, square the hip to the front. When you're ready, arms up. Holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curving. Shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle. Back to the straight. Place the palm together, release, index finger, inhale, lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. Slowly, slowly release. Getting ready for the twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly release. Right hand on the mat. Left arm. Reach and stretch. Look at the top thumb. Slowly, slowly release the top hand. Low hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Coming on the baby toe side of foot. Rocking forward, backwards. Side to side, open up. The left hip more. Those who can come down the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead for more intensive stretch. Rocking forward, backward, side to side. If this is too intensive for you, push yourself back up to the hand level. Neck is long, spine is straight. We're not dropping the head. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. Coming into your twisted dragon, bending into the back leg, right hand on the back, left arm up. Wrap the top arm around your waist, or reach for the back foot. Coming into your twisted dragon. Be mindful for those who have wrist, elbow, shoulder, or knee issues. Slowly, slowly release, hands on that. Heel toe, heel toe, walk in the left foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the left side. Right elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn a little bit the top elbow. If you can come up on the back toes, go ahead. Lifting the heel high, high up. Feel free to open up the arms for more resistance. Slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat. For hamstring stretch, come sit down. Drawing the left toes up to the seam. Inhale, the right arm up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward. Grow longer. Holding on to and have the leg for the toe. Chains away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Not dropping the head around in the back. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into seat the twist. Bring the band leg on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands. Point the front toes up to the ceiling. 
keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look in the back, turning the next one. One more breath here, we're going to slowly, slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, count and twist, bending elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of the body. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten up the legs. Bounce it a few times. Point the toes up to the ceiling, coming into the start pose, hands by your side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. We're going to inhale the arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, we're going to hinge forward, grow longer, holding on to any part of the legs that are toes. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Make it long, spine straight. We're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Lengthening the spine, stretching out the back, opening up the hip joint, stretching the hamstring. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. From here, we're going to come into seated. So feel free to have a sip of water. And we're going to continue. So I'm gonna get up. So you guys just take a break. Just gonna to need to take a little break. So from here, we're gonna continue with seated. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap the hands around the ankle. Sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of it to all the entire feet. Inhale the lengthen, exhale to hinge, leaving with the chest. Bring the arms on the outside of the shin, chin is away from the body. Eyes looking at a point two to three feet in front of you. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly come back up, sliding the feet a few inches in front of you. So this is longer than it is wide. We're going to go into a TARDIS. Slide the hand underneath to grab a hold of your feet. We're going to inhale to prepare, exhale, gain forward. Head to feet.
One more breath here. We're gonna slowly, slowly come back up, sliding the hand back out from underneath. Windshield wiper, bend your knees. This is hip work. Hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. Don't lean back too much. We're gonna drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come off. Hip release. Hip open it. And when you're ready, we're going to drop both knees to the side. Follow it to 90, 90 degrees. Make sure the butt stays down. Turn and look at the opposite side. Don't lean back too much. You're going to immediately feel the stretch here. Go to side quick turn. A little bit of discomfort. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly come back to center. So we're going to arrange your way through two more times. Hip release. When you're ready, we're going to drop both knee to the other side. Forming a 90, 90 degree. You can adjust the angle to suit your knees. Make sure the butt stay down. And a little bit of opposite side. A little bit of discomfort. As we open up this hip joint, and you're going to feel the stretch in the quadriceps. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Wave your way for a few more times. Hip release. Slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, arms a few times. Get the flesh cut out from your butt. And we're gonna to come to a reset. Grab hold of the big toes, balancing on the sitting bones. Don't lean back too much. We're gonna stay here for five, four, three, Two, one, slowly open up into a big beat. Engage your arms and your legs, pop in the stomach and chest out. Staying here for another five, four, three, two, and one, slowly bring the legs together and release. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers, wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up the back into a cow. Exhale, round the back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between water rings. Can and cows will help people to relieve back pain. Two more times. And one last one. Slowly come back to center, swaying side to side. Release tension in your wrist. We're going to take an inhale, send an exhale to open up the right hip. Squeeze the shoulder and hip together, let the hip drop. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swaying side to side. Coming into arm balance, right arm and left leg out. Right thumb to the sky, back toes down. Core strong. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we'll turn and grab a hold of that foot, lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat.
slowly, slowly release, swing side to side. And we will repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky, back toe stand, one straight line. Neck and spine are aligned. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, and one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we turn and grab for the back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. Slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. We're gonna fret the needle next. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrap around your waist. Beginner, you can stay here. If you want to add body, more body weight on the right shoulder, extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like. Don't worry about raising the back leg. If you find that this is challenging to balance, both hips are level. Regular weights in the head and neck. Actually, the head can move. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues. One more breath, then we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Using the left hand to push yourself up. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, we're gonna slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you or wrap around your waist. Now you can stay here if you like and extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to turn this on. Don't worry about raising the back leg. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues. One more breath and we are slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. Swing side to side. We're gonna slowly transition to come lie down on your stomach, going into back extension. So take your time to come down. Legs are hip width apart. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps automatically comes off. Hands by your chest, forehead down. When you're ready, lifting the hand chest up, hands off, kneecaps up. So the following poses, our back extension, strengthening the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly and gently release everything down. Extend your arms forward, coming into Superman. Forehead down, kneecaps up. When you're ready. Lifting the hand chest up, arms off, leg and thigh off, reach into opposite direction. And we're gonna stay here for five, three, two, and one. Slowly and gently release everything down. Swing your arm behind you, coming into a locus, interlace the finger. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. When you're ready, lifting the hand chest up, thigh off. If you're not able to interlace finger behind your back, arm by your side, not touching your body. Staying here for five, three, two, and one. Slowly and gently release everything down. Stack your hands on top of each other, bend both knees, windshield wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Feel the slight movement in your lower back. Your butt swaying side to side. Loosen up the lower back muscles. You can either have chin down or forehead down. Slide 
slowly, slowly release. Coming into a bow, grab a hold one ankle or both ankle. Those who are only doing one ankle at a time, extend the opposite arm out. If you can grab a hold both ankle, take the feet into your hand, lift in the hand, chest up, thigh up. If you want to rock, rock. Slowly, slowly, come back to center to release. Coming into a seal, legs are mat width apart. Come up on your forearm, shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body. Continue to stretch on lower back. Now you can stay here. If you want to push yourself up, shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking forward. If this is too intensive for you, lower down on your forearm. So your choice. Staying here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back down. Bring the legs together, big toes to touch, hands by your side. You're gonna place the right cheek on your mat. Stretching on the right side of your neck, turning the ankle. One more breath here, and we're gonna turn the head to the other side. Stretching on the left side of the neck, big toes to touch, let the ankle fall out. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. To counter, we're going to come out of this and go into a child pose. Knees apart, big toes to touch. Sending the hip down onto the hips. If you have very tight ankle joint or hip joint, if you're not able to come sit down, you can rest the forehead on stack hands, back fist, or on your block. Block has three different heights. So try to sit back as much as you can. We are massaging internal arms, massaging the third eye, lengthening the spine, stretching out the back. Just gonna stay here for a few breaths. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up. From here, we're gonna go into a wide leg. Use the length of your mat. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Get the flesh pad out from your butt. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward. Feel with the chest. Bring Bending the elbows, more room to come down. Inhale the big down. Exhale, keep hinging forward. Neck is long, spine is straight.
You can feel the length in your spine, in your back, opening up the hip joint, stretching the inner thighs, stretching the hamstrings. Wherever you are today is good. Don't worry about how far down you need to go. We're not dropping the head down. Neck is long, spine is straight. Now we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into a side bend. Right finger hooking onto the right toes. Bending down. The other arm up. Bridge and stretch. Look at the top thumb. We're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Forming a crescent. Looking up. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. Wrapping the top arm around the waist. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. Looking up. Slowly, slowly, come back up. Coming into our one leg side bend. Inhale the arms up to leg. Exhale, we're going to turn to this right leg. Shift forward, holding on to any part of the leg. Foot or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to walk the hands over to the other side. Getting ready for the gate pose. Spread out your fingers, align the wrist with the shoulder. Grounding the straight leg. Use your strong abdominal muscles to lift the hip off the ground. Top arm up. Reach and stretch. Look at the top thumb. You can stay here if you want to turn into balancing. You can lift up the top leg, either point of flex. That will engage the top leg. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So we're going to come back to a wide leg. If wide leg is uncomfortable for you, you can fold the leg that we are not using. So we're going to go and grab all the left toes, bending now with small room. The other arm up, reach and stretch. So after you have lengthened, you can slowly bring the top arm over through the length in the side of your body. Stimulating mm -hmm. meridian point at the point of weight. Wrapping the top arm around your waist. Keeping the top shoulder up and open, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, we turn the straight leg, shift forward. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the bottom. Eyes looking forward. Leg is long. Spine is straight. Slowly, slowly rise up. We're going to walk the hands over to the other side. Getting ready for the gate pose. We're going to ground into the straight leg. Spread the fingers on this hand. Align the wrist with the shoulder. Use your strong core thumb muscles to lift the hip off the ground. Shoulders on top of each other. Look at the top thumb. If you want to turn into balancing, lift up the top leg. I a point of flex. That will engage the top leg. Be mindful of anyone who has any wrist, elbow, shoulder, or knee issues. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. Strain down the legs. 
bounce it a few times. And we're gonna slowly transition to come lie down on the yoga mat. So take your time to lower yourself down. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back and that by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Taking a few calming breath. Chin to chest always for all lying down poses. Now we set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So knees start two feet apart, don't open up too much. If you like, you squeeze the block, walk the heel, close your fingertips, press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we lift the hip high, high up. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the finger. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Give it your max. Engage your core, abdominal muscles. Your quarter and your glutes are firm. So in another word, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butt are firm. But not through a point of cramping. All the weights in the shoulder, very little weights in the head and neck. Chair is almost touching the chest. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Release the hands from underneath your bridge. One word away at a time, release the spine back down. Once you've come all the way down, you can remove your block for those who have a block. And you can raise your wiper a few times. Hit release. Slowly, slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. When releasing on the right side, wrap your hands around the right knee. Draw close to the chest or armpit. Give it a good squeeze. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending cone. Anytime you feel bloated or constipated, you can try when releasing, either lying down or sitting in a chair. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint. Change direction. From here, we're going to go spinal twist, right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close and as possible. Right arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn and look at the right side when I get stiff. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce a few times. Repeat on the other side. When releasing, Grab your hands around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Massage your organs on the left side, as well as descending forward. Left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse. Massaging the left hip joint. Change direction. Slowly come back to center, transitioning into spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh. Using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg or going into cat holding your tail. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Otherwise, you can place the left arm on the floor 
Shoulder height, palm facing down. Shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body is still on the mat. Turn a little bit the left side if your neck is still. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Bring everything back to the center, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, grab your hands around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into big circular motion if you like, covering the big area, massaging the lower back and sit. Go the other way, change direction. Slowly come back to center, lift your feet up to the sky, come into heavy knee. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine. Entire back, opening up the hip joint. Happy baby is also going to do to relieve back pain. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Bring the legs together. Nice and slow of control. We're gonna release the legs back down on the mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Bring the sole of your feet together. Let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. And down by the side, palm three feet down. Close your eyes for a moment. Slowing down the heartbeat. Let gravity does its job to open up the hip joint. And here, we're going to go into sh Shavasana, final relaxation. Open up the legs, mat width, let the feet fall naturally. Arms are six or eight inches away from the body, turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips. Chin to chest, close your eyes. Soften your face, relax the jaws. Letting go of all your stress, worries, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying very calm, relaxed, and still in the present moment, in your older world. Couple more breaths and we will slowly open up the eyes, wiggling your fingers and your toes, gently turning your neck left and right. Bring your legs together, point your toes, inhale your arms up and above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale and down by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head, point your toes, elongate the body. Big, big stretch. Exhale, and then back your side. Bend both knees, drop them to the right side, raise your right arm, roll over to the right side of the body. Make you a pillow of the tricep. 
coming into a fetus position. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. To close the practice, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste. Thank mm -hmm. you.